Good morning, GMS. I'm Josie Fiesel. And I'm Anna Wall. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of April 25th, 2022. Students, as iLearn testing continues, make sure your Chromebook is charged and bring some earbuds. Or you can go to the IMC and buy them for $1. Summer break is right around the corner. The last day of school for students is Thursday, May 26th. Make sure you keep up with your work and finish the nine weeks strong. Also, when you get a chance, visit the GMS homepage and take a look at some upcoming opportunities for students. Here are some of them. A 5K run. Soccer camps. Girls basketball skill camp. Humane Society summer camps. And aviation camp. Now, let's go to the interview of the week, sports, and top trending. Have a great week, GMS, and remember to stay safe. Hi, I'm Elise. Welcome to Top Trending, where we share this top weird and trending stories of the week. Let's get started with number two. According to Doggo News, there is the world's most expensive T-Rex fossil that has a new home. In 2020, Stan, one of the world's largest and most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex skeletons, was auctioned for the record $27.5 million, $31.8 million with fees and costs. The precious fossil bought by an anonymous private buyer led many paleontologists to fret that the T-Rex was lost to science forever. As it turns out, they had nothing to worry about. Number one, as reported by Doggo News, there is a new species of glass frogs discovered in Ecuador. The southern tropical Andes, which compromises areas of Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia, is one of the world's most biodiverse regions, especially when it comes to amphibians. The area is home to about 980 amphibian species, including over half of the 150 known glass frog species. Now two new members of the tiny frogs have, been, have joined this ever-growing list. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week. Hi, I'm John and welcome for Sports This Week. On Monday, April 25th, boys golf at 4 p.m. at Clark Pleasant Middle School. Also on, on the 25th, track and field at 5 p.m. at Paul Hadley Middle School. On Tuesday, April 22nd, girls tennis at 5.30 at home. On Wednesday, April 27th, boys golf at 5 p.m. at home versus Plainfield Commun Community. Track and field at 5 p.m. at Indian Creek Middle School. Girls tennis at 5 p.m. at home versus Perry Meridian. On Thursday, April 28th, Boys golf at home versus Speedway on on girls tennis at 5:30 um, at home versus Center Grove Central. That's all for sports for this week. Have a great week. <laughs> 